Hi, welcome to the Water Cube here in Stockholm World Water Week 2011. Can you introduce yourself, please? Sure. My name is Ashley Murray. I'm the founder and CEO of Waste Enterprisers, a company that I registered in Ghana, West Africa. And can you show us your name tag, please, sure. as well? Thank you. That's great. And um, what has brought you to World Water Week this year? What issue is particularly pressing um, for you and your organization? Well, I came here to make a couple of presentations about what Waste Enterprisers is up to. Mm -hmm. um, I think we have a fairly novel approach to sanitation and, and what that approach is, is rebranding waste as a resource and using it as an input into other products. So we set up what I call waste-based businesses, where we're using wastewater or fecal sludge as an input into production to make other pro products. We sell those products and then take a portion of our revenues and reinvest it in the sanitation value chain. Great, and are you doing that specifically in Ghana or further afield uh, as well? Most of our activities right now are uh, focused in Ghana. We have a bit of work that we're doing in Senegal and Uganda mm -hmm. and maybe looking at expanding into Kenya. Um, we're focused on three waste-based business models at the moment. One is wastewater-fed aquaculture, where we um, approach the government-run wastewater treatment plant in the city of Kumasi and said, hey look, we'd like to grow fish in the last ponds of your wastewater treatment plant. And in exchange for you giving me access to those ponds and nutrient-rich water, we'll take on the entire operation and maintenance of this community-scale wastewater treatment plant. And the real beauty of this business model, I think, is that we're able to go from a situation where you know the wastewater treatment plants were, were not as well maintained as they could have been due to a lack of human or financial resources, to a situation where as fish farmers we have every incentive in the world to make sure these plants are in optimal condition, right? Mm -hmm. Because if they're not, our fish die or they're not safe for human consumption. So we're aligning a profit motive with the incentives to, to maintain wastewater treatment. That's excellent. And how do you get your message out to the Ghanaians and how do they know about what your work is doing? Uh, we work very closely um, with local governments and with other um, Ghanaian colleagues in the water and sanitation sector and likewise in the other countries where we're doing work. It's all in partnership with um, local universities and local government um, agencies. Excellent. Thank you for being here today and for sharing with us your work.